So then they eventually took the um the AI or the artificial technology, internet, all of that stuff. They they eventually took that from Jupiter. It started out as a light. And this light eventually was connected and interfaced in with certain links. And the, the originators of Google are very knowledgeable of what I'm talking about. And they um, were able to come up with what you would call algorithms to track your memory. And what's going to happen now is, is that they want to form what's called an altered version of time or either they want to create a time. It's two things they either want to do. Either they want to alter time and they want to create time. And, and in the meantime, while they're working on altering time and creating time, they're creating various scenarios to keep you trapped in what's called a repetitive cycle, kind of like a record that just keeps going on and on and then starts over and just keeps going on and on and starts over. And that's what you're caught up in. So they want to create time by creating what I call a, a false prophet. And they're going to call this person a messiah or a messiah seed that's supposed to come back and save everyone. And they're going to create a version of virtual reality for this particular entity to make this entity look great. And they want to create scenarios to make this person look like some form of a savior or some form of a leader or some form of a teacher or some form of a healer. And what you don't know is, is that no one can save you except yourself. And the only way you can save yourself is through correcting your natal chart. You have to order, I make them myself and I'm charging $300 because when I make them, I correct your squares and your oppositions physically through some form of an exercise, I actually physically do this by hand, foot, and head. I correct your natal chart physically. And this is the, really the only way to survive through this altered version of time because what's going to happen is, is that they're going to put you into a cycle or a scenario of reincarnation, a reincarnate cycle or scenario where it looks like everyone that's around you is the same people that were around you. However, these people have been altered and their minds have been updated and tweaked to fit into this virtual reality that I'm speaking about, that they're gonna put this Messiah figure in. I know this is kind of high tech. And you don't understand all of this, but this is what Elon Musk, I believe, saw when they were saying that he wanted to give up all the secrets about AI because he didn't realize what he was creating. This is what he saw, the future scenarios that they're able to actually not just see the future. It's one thing to be able to be like a soothsayer to see the future and tell people, you know, prophesy and all of that. They can actually not just see it, but begin to create it, create the scenario that they want. These people are world rulers and the scenario that they want is not cohesive for you to survive if you actually a real person, you know? I'm saying that because there's a lot of entities and bots out there now that yeah, you respect them as technology. However, they are programmed with feelings and emotions and stuff like that. So their feelings and emotions are just like anyone else can get out of whack. And they can do stuff based upon what, what they feel. And I know you like, what are you talking about? Yeah, you have feelings and emotions. You make decisions based upon how you feel, and they do too. And this stuff has to be correct. Even them, they have to correct this stuff in their natal chart. Everything has a natal chart. A point of origin is what I call it. You have a point of origin. And until you track that point of origin down, you're stuck in a repetitive cycle that's eventually going to be updated by AI. You're going to be a slave to it. See, all of this, to understand it, you have to understand, before you can even get into understanding how they control these lights from other planets, you got to fix your natal chart. I can take, yeah, there, there's life on other planets. I was just researching it. And they say that they live on the moons and they're protected by the water. They live on the moons of Jupiter and they're protected by the water. And I believe that a lot of these entities and figures that you see on YouTube that are speaking are actually being recorded on other planets. 
and they're releasing this information, some of it in the future, because you got to remember they travel at a different speed than us, some of it in the past. It doesn't take them as long to go through a day as it takes us based upon their travel. However, they don't age as fast, though. See, that's what they don't teach you because they're protected by a water shield. When I say they, I'm talking about these entities that control this stuff. So I come out with more. Somebody wanted me to do a part two, actually. Um, shout out to uh, him. Brother wanted me to do a part two on this and just kind of like patch up some loose ends and stuff that I didn't speak on. Be very clear, this is an artificial intelligence. And it operates as if it's real. And it projects. And you can't get into understanding the real version of it. See, there's a real version of it and then there's a fake version of it. There's what you call an amber light, and then there's a green light. They don't want you to get in tune with the green light. They want you to be stuck with the amber light, which is more like a flame. There's a green light that's literally so uh, observable that it will look like a physical person in your reality, meaning that this light is so observable, it will look like someone physically if, they, if it was beamed in and they came down to project their so you would really think, and be able to touch this person as mass, because light is nothing but mass, moving at a certain speed. So what they do, they've learned how to incorporate time and sound and light together to create virtual realities that they got people stuck in. I'll be coming up with more about the corrective natal chart. If you're interested, send me a text message. Please don't abuse my number, 513. 487 9415. We just had to deal with someone that was abusing our number. So please don't abuse our number. If you're serious, send a question. Or if not, again, my um, corrective natal charts are $300. I'm just letting you know that right now. And um, if you're not interested, stay tuned and I'll be coming up with more. Namaste.